Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 I'm playing games. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 It's going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? Hi everyone, this is Roy and you're listening to the Snowplow Show for September, I mean Dingtember 15th, 2015. And today's show is sponsored by Jeremy A., who is a supporter at patreon.com slash phone losers. Thanks Jeremy A. for sponsoring today's show. Today is not going to be the day where I don't do any carding calls. I am going to do carding calls all day today. I mean, all of this episode, not all day. So prepare for that, people who hate all of the carding calls I've been doing. There's a guy on Facebook, on the Facebook Phone Losers group, that has a great idea for carding notes. He writes his carding notes on the back of a list that he uh, had typewritten. And this guy's name is Greg. And on the back of his carding, his handwritten carding note, the typewritten list says, Way to be a better Roy for September. Eat healthy, more soy, walk 10,000 steps a day. Step three, take prescribed muscle relaxants. Step four, take my lithium every day this time. Step five, cut down to drinking only after noon and stop at 8 a.m. weekdays. Step six, give more to homeless people to make up for the past thing. Step seven, no more Craigslist casual encounters. Step eight, park in normal people's spaces. (laughs) Whatever the hell that means. Step nine, no more leaving fly down but for clubs. Step 10, drink more V8 low sodium. So I think that's a pretty great idea to, uh, you know, put just some weird, bizarre, random list on the back of your carding note. You know, leave the carding note, as you always do, but on the back, if they turn it over, they will see whatever scrap of paper you happen to have on you to write your carding note, which could be, I don't know, a shopping list, maybe the details for a drug deal, a list called People to Kill, like in Billy Madison. No, maybe you shouldn't do stuff like that, drug deals and killing people. Because then they'll just go right to the police with it, and I'll be involved in yet another murder investigation. But I think this is a great idea. Thanks, Greg, for the idea. Uh, You know, just put some sort of weird randomness on the back of the page, on the back of your carding note. If you're a new listener, you have no idea what I'm talking about, so I guess I should quickly explain it. This month only, in Ding Timber, from the 1st until the 30th, I think there's 30 days in Ding Timber, right? Listeners are putting notes on cars, and the notes read... Sorry I dinged your car. Please get in touch with me to discuss insurance. My phone number is 425-243-7565, and the note is signed Roy. And that, of course, is my own voicemail, and these people call me up from all over the United States, and I call them back, and I just kind of screw with their heads. That's what Ding Timber is. So let's get started. Hey, how are you, Roy? Uh, this is Rami. Uh, you left me in... Why are you asking me how I am on a voicemail? God! So my car... That you have uh, uh, in my car, so I just called your number. Uh, please call me back as soon as possible. Thank you. I swear, people saying "How are you?" It's like a nervous tick. They just say it constantly. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Hello. Hi, this is Roy. Uh, I left a note on your car. Yes. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. That's great. If, thank you for leaving the note. <laughs> oh, sure. You're welcome. Yeah, I work for uh, Sirius Satellite Radio. Um, did, did they let you know that you won the contest for the surprise program, Sirius Radio surprise program? What is it? Well, I was inside your car. I was installing a Sirius Satellite Radio onto your radio. And, uh, I, you left I, me a note where? Well, I left it on the window, but no, I was inside your car. I was installing Sirius Satellite Radio under your dashboard. And I kind of, I scuffed up the bottom of the, I, my screwdriver, it like scratched your dashboard underneath. It's really hard to see, really. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Okay, great. All Was right. Was it on the passenger? 
Uh, um, it's kind of right in the middle, like where the radio is. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah. uh, I'm just checking it out because I'm by my car. Oh, you're looking up inside underneath? What do you mean inside? Uh, I'm not sure. You were working on my car? Yeah, I was inside your car. I was installing Sirius Satellite Radio inside your car. You've got Sirius Satellite now for free. How did you get in my car? <laughs> I use a Slim Jim. It's like a it's a Sirius Radio surprise contest program, and you won for this week. So you get a free installation of Sirius Satellite Radio and a free two years of service. Do you guys just get in people's car and install it without asking? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise otherwise. Did Did you try it yet? Did you notice that you have Sirius Satellite on the radio yet? No, I haven't tried it, but how do you... I really don't understand how you got in my car and then put it in without asking me. Well, it's it's a surprise you program. You really do that? Yeah, yeah, it's a surprise program. And, you know, we just we install it for free. And, you know, you get in your car and surprise, look at that, you have satellite radio. Are you joking me or are you serious? No, oh, I'm completely serious. It's, it's something we, we've been doing this for two years now. Uh, hey, what's every up? Uh, Every week we pick a new person from the area. What up? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm asking somebody else. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, did, did they they did they uh, did they reply with a uh, pretty good? How are you doing? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I love that small talk. Um, yep. Can I speak to your manager by any chance? Oh no, I'm just an independent ins- installer. Uh, I- I'm not in an office or anything. This is my cell phone number. But yeah, free satellite radio for you. Is that illegal to get in the car without asking and just installing something that I haven't told you to install? Yeah, well, it's not like I... It amazes me. I didn't steal anything from your car. I gave you something. That's like $200 of equipment that I put up in there. And I ran a wire up. I know, but that's that's not okay. Yeah, it it was a lot of labor, too. I had to to pull your ceiling down, and I put the antenna up underneath your ceiling and run the wire down along the window for the antenna. It was a lot of work. I forget if it's if it's a joke or if it's for real. I wouldn't joke about this. No, it's some, this is something they've been doing for about two years now. It's it's just to give you yeah, a what's taste. What's your first name? Roy. Roy what? Who? What's your last name? Gerbel. Okay, that's fine. Is it fine? What is it? What do you mean it's fine? You're okay with my last name? I mean, I, I just no, I just don't appreciate you getting in my car without asking and installing it. Well, I gave you a free gift, I so know. I would think you'd appreciate it's, that. That's still not okay if you, you know if you asked me and told me, "Hey, you know, I want to do that." That I'd be like, "Okay." Well, I go didn't go ahead, but just ask for permission. I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal any change out of no, your container or anything. No, I know anything, but still, that's, that's that's illegal. I can call the cops and tell them to arrest. Oh no, you can't. Different. I didn't steal anything. It's, Oh, I know you didn't steal anything, but you're not allowed to in my car. I am if it, if you're the contest winner. No, you're supposed to take my permission. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, you're obviously not a lawyer. What do you do for a living? It's none of your business, but that's I'm pretty sure it's illegal to get in people's car, break in, and install something. I didn't break anything. I, did, I just used a Slim Jim and opened the door, and then I used an electronic that, device to That's make illegal. Sure. It's not illegal. You don't. You just don't know the law very well. You can't just break in my car. But I gave you something for free. Just appreciate that and and enjoy the satellite radio for two years. Oh, he hung up. All right. Well, that was an idea from Ben. What an asshole! I'm I'm gonna turn off his satellite radio if that's the way he's gonna be. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an automatic. Now he's not gonna pick up. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 502 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Raman. This is Roy from Sirius Satellite Radio. I just wanted to say I didn't appreciate you hanging up on me like that. Oh, and by the way, how you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? Uh, so, uh, you know, just, you know, because you're being such a douche canoe about it, I'm, I'm going to turn off your service. 
and you're not going to get free satellite radio. And also, also, if you don't send us back the equipment from your car, I'm going to send you to collections for the equipment, and that's what you get. All right, thanks. Bye, Raman. There, I told him. That'll teach him not to appreciate free gifts. Hello, Roy. This is Mary. Uh, you left a note on my car saying you dinged it. I don't know what that was about, but could you please call me back at 650 Um, And please do it soon, or else I'll throw a go cup out the window. Bye. Oh, no. We can't have that. And it looks like uh, that person left another message. Hey, Roy, you didn't call me back, so I just threw a go cup out the fucking window. Damn it. I missed out on that one. And that person is apparently really impatient because that call was from 10 minutes later. Here's a message from Legends area. Hello, Roy. This is Andre. I uh, got your post-it note on my Jeep Cherokee, the green one. said that you dinged my car. Just giving you a call back. Um, I didn't really see too much in the way of any damage. Um, but it's dark in the parking lot, so I just really can't tell. Give me a call back. My phone number is 813. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Andre. It's Roy. I left a note on your Jeep. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. How are you? All right. Thank you for the note. That was very kind. You're welcome. So you didn't see the damage, though? No, I couldn't really tell. There was one, like, small, small scratch on the, um passenger side but i wasn't sure oh no if that was a thing no no i slammed into your jeep with a 18 wheeler like a semi truck i'm surprised you didn't see anything no way yeah really you didn't notice that in the back yeah just like just smashed right into it totaled the totaled the whole thing oh i think it must have been a different jeep then oh no i, <laughs> I left the note on your on your jeep because you know right after i hit it I had to go to the hospital yeah. and everything. No way. Someone yeah. must have moved the the note or something cuz my my car's fine. Well, no, it was the Definitely green the get... green Jeep, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I just I smashed into it with my semi truck. I know. Oh. In in what parking lot? Oh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. I've been traveling across the country uh doing deliveries uh hauling rocket fuel. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine. I'm sure. I'm surprised you didn't notice it, but I mean, if if you don't see anything, I, I guess I don't know. Just let me know if you see anything. I'll take care of it. Okay. I'll give you my insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, there was not a scratch. <laughs> oh, I basically Especially ran the- ran over the jeep. I mean, it, and then the rocket fuel exploded. You didn't see like the explosion marks on the buildings or anything. No. That's kind of weird. Jeez, wow. Okay, yeah, you should you should maybe take another look at the Jeep, because I'd be happy to give you my insurance information if you need it. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Definitely right. didn't get hit with rocket fuel. <laughs> oh, no, it was definitely, it was the green Jeep. It was the only one there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and we were, we were sitting nearby, too. I think I would have noticed oh, yeah. an explosion. I think you would have heard it. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. All right, well, well uh, yeah, thanks, just... Thanks, me, anyway. <laughs> no, no problem. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Bye. Oh, I thought we were going to get to hear him talk about it. He hung up. That was an idea from a guy whose name is Jobs Pollock. Probably pronouncing that wrong. I used that on that lady on the last show. <laughs> Told her I hit her car with a semi truck. I like that one. He didn't get mad, but he sure was confused. Hey, Roy, this is Matt. I got your uh, message on my little red truck. <laughs> I took a look at it. I don't, I don't see anything. <laughs> that thing is older than dirt. So, very kind. I don't think any time in my entire life has anybody ever actually left a note, even when they did flesh it real bad. <laughs> so, very cool, very what? kind. There's no problem. Um, so thank you for the note and have a good night. See you. Bye. Should I even call this guy back? It's Matt. Hey Matt, this is Roy. I left a note in your car about the car ding. Oh, Hey Roy, how's it going, man? Oh, not too bad. Yeah. So was that on the little red truck or what? 
what was that? Uh, yeah, I left that on the red truck. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I'm just, I didn't see anything. Oh no, I'm just obtaining, I work for a telemarketing company and I was just obtaining yeah. telephone numbers for that. So by calling me and leaving that message, you've opted in to receive telemarketing calls. Oh, okay. Because I, I get five. Yeah, no, I don't want to receive any of those. Oh, no, it's too late. You already opted in, and I get $5 for every working number that I get with the name. So thank you, Matt. Uh, they're probably uh, they're going to sell your number to a bunch of other telemarketing companies, and you'll be getting calls, a lot of calls from now on. Why would you do that? Because it's how I make, it's it's my job. I get Well, fi- um, hold on. Yeah. So what do you do exactly? Oh, I work for a telemarketing company. A Royco Telemarketing. Which company do you work for? It's called Royco Telemarketing. It's here in town. And I get five dollars for every confirmed number I get with the name. So I've got which, your, which telemarketing company do you work for? It's called Royco Tel what does it matter? It doesn't matter. I just needed to let you know that you've opted in and you'll be receiving telemarketing calls from now on. Yeah, I I have an opted in, and I have your phone number, and I'll be reporting it to the authorities. No, you can't report me to the authorities. I want, I'm just doing my job. I don't want any phone calls, and I don't care to have any phone calls, and I don't. I didn't opt in for anything, and I will contact my attorney, and I will be contacting the authorities. Well, no, you'll have to opt out. Just opt out like a normal person. Jesus. Then opt me out. I don't care to receive okay. any calls and no, get that, enough that, calls on that. That's not my department. I don't opt people out. I, I just uh, sign them up. I get $5 for every phone number that I get. So thank you for calling me yeah, back no, and I, leaving the message. Yeah, I'm to- I, this is totally illegal. I will be reporting you, and you will be hearing from my attorney. And which company do you work for? It's called Royco Telemarketing, and it's not illegal. Oh, it, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. You're, you're definitely not an attorney, are you? Wow, he was the nicest guy ever in that message. And I completely ruined that for him. So you're welcome for that, Matt. That was another idea from Ben. Ben and his billions of ideas he's left on phonelosers.org. Thanks, Ben. I'll have to remember to do that one for other people who are nice to me on the message. Hi, Roy. My name's Ian. Um, I think you might have dinged my car in the parking lot yesterday. Um, Thank you for leaving the note. Um, If you want to give me a call back, my number is 920 Thanks. Have a great day. Hello? Hello, Ian. This is Roy. I left a note in your car. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling back. Sure, no problem. Um, so what happened to you? Did you door ding it? Oh, no. I was I was inside. I was installing Sirius Satellite Radio uh, in under, okay. your, under your dashboard. And uh, I kind of, my screwdriver, it kind of scraped along the underside of the dashboard and left a mark. Hmm. You were installing... Sirius Satellite Radio. In my car? Yeah, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Did you put the note on the wrong car? No, no, I put it on your car because I accident my screwdriver underneath the dashboard, it kind of scraped alongside the underside of the dashboard as I was... Uh, installing the antenna. I don't have serious uh, satellite radio in my car. Oh no, you do now. It, it's the it's the you won the free random giveaway contest thing. That you didn't you? I left a note on your window about that too. Didn't you get that note? No. Nope. Oh yeah, it's a serious radio surprise program. It's where we we just pick a random person in the area. We install serious satellite into their car. How would you have gotten into my car? With a Slim Jim? You know, it's a, it's a tool. It goes in your window and opens the lock. Huh. Yep, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. If, if you need my insurance information from that, I can give that to you. Okay, uh, yeah, let me, I have your number here. Let me take a look at it, and uh, I, I will let you know. Okay, did you notice that you had Sirius, like on your radio now? No, I did not. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's free two years. Free for two years. You know, you just get free service. You can listen to Howard Stern now. And, uh, you know, Top Hits, the M&M station. There's lots of really good stuff on Sirius. 
Okay. Uh, I'm just, I guess, a little confused that someone would break into my car to install something and not let them know about it. Oh, no, I did let you know. I put a note on... Uh, maybe it fell off. Maybe I didn't put it on very well because I put the other note on about the ding, too. Maybe when I lifted okay. up the wiper to put the ding note on, that one fell off. Sorry about okay, that. No. So where where is it installed in my car? Oh, it's it's uh it's hooked up to your existing radio, and uh you know I. I mean, but it, is it somewhere inside the car as well? Well, yeah, it's up. Like, on, I mean, is there like? Yeah, it's on underneath the dashboard. There's a satellite receiver in there now, and I put an antenna up. Uh, it's underneath the 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 drop the ceiling part of your roof. You know, up where the light is on your ceiling. There's a an, uh -huh. antenna that runs up into the ceiling. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. There's a lot of new equipment and in, in, under your dashboard now, but you won't even see it. It's just it's in your radio. If you look on your radio, you have Sirius now. Okay, I will take a look. Okay. And um, I mean, okay, e yeah. huh? Oh, go ahead. Oh, even though the service is free for two years, uh, you still owe me five hundred dollars for all the equipment I put in. Huh, okay. You didn't get the invoice? Uh, did that conveniently fall off of your windshield, too? Yeah, this is a little strange. I've, uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't pay any money for that. Oh, okay, we'll see about that. Because, you know, we have we have a good collections team, and I'm going to send you to the collections department then. Okay. But, but, I mean, it's totally worth it, because you get the free satellite for two years. Free satellite radio. 24-7 Howard Stern. Great. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. See you in court, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop doing that one. Thanks once again for that idea, Ben. The serious satellite surprise program idea. Hey, Roy, this is Dee again. Listen, I now know that this is a fucking prank-ass phone call oh, no. and that sort of thing, and that you wanted me to get crazy. But I have to tell you, um, oh, I'm you were crazy. the perfect person that we need to do this to. So give me a ring back. Uh, again, the number is 502. Thanks. No thanks, D. I really don't want to call you. If you guys remember D, she's the one who uh, I did the helium balloon prank to. And I totally flew off the handle when they when she suggested that the notes were landing in the Rocky Mountains. I felt kind of bad about that. But D, if you happen to be a listener now, you should just take the note that somebody left on your car and put that note on someone else's car, and I will call them. It's easy. You can figure that out, right? Even if you're not a listener. If you no longer have the note, all you have to do is make your own. Write on a note. Sorry I dinged your car. Please give me a call back to discuss insurance or whatever. And then put my phone number on it, 425-243-7565, and sign the name Roy on the note. Any of you listeners who want to do that for the rest of this month, I will be checking that voicemail until the very end of September, and I will be calling back most of the people who call me, except for the ones who are very obviously fake. And there are a lot of fakes in there. That's nice, though, a prank victim trying to team up with me. Yeah, hi, Roy. This is Scott you left a note on our blazer uh, where you'd run into it. Um, if you could, just give me a call back whenever you get the message. It's area code 614. And again, my name's Scott. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, let's call Scott. If he asks me how I'm doing, I'm going to lose my shit. Everyone's been asking me how I'm doing today. Hello. Hey, Scott, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, it was my, it's my son's car. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, where did you hit it at? Well, I didn't hit it. I didn't even look at it. He was telling me about the note and stuff. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in the back he seat. Brought the, he brought the note over to me, and hell, I didn't even look at it yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I left the note because I was sitting in the back seat. I was smoking, and I dropped, I dropped the... I dropped uh, some ashes on the floorboard, and and I, I don't think they burned through the carpet, but then I stepped on them a bunch. I kind of freaked out. I started stomping on them a whole bunch, and there's definitely a black mark, but I think it can be washed out. I don't think it burned through. What, what car are you? 
in the green blazer? Yeah, the blazer, yep. You were in the back seat? Yeah, I was in the back seat. I was hot boxing. Big what? I was hot boxing. What's that? Uh it's it's where you get into a stranger's car and you just um you know, you you smoke a joint. You smoke one marijuana while the windows are all rolled up. And that way I can't get arrested for smoking in public. It's a loophole. That's got fucked up. Yeah. Do you have somebody else's vehicle? What's that? This don't make no sense to me. And then, and then I mean, you rode on their PS, you suck a parking. I mean, what the hell shit's that? I, I said you suck a what? Parking. Oh, suck a par- You know, I was really high by the time I got out of that car. So... You know, it just, uh, that just, I probably, that yeah, was that don't make no sense to me. That, that probably just, wasn't true. It probably wasn't true w- about the parking. Because, you know, I was intoxicated. And, and the parking probably just looked wrong to me, but probably really it was fine. I was hallucinating the bad parking. <laughs> this is a new one on me, let me tell you. You've never hotboxed someone's car before? No. I don't do that shit. You just smoke it in the home? I don't smoke it at all. Oh, okay. Shit ain't for me. All right. Well, settle down. Don't freak out at me. All right, well, I'll get off here. I'll look at it and let you know. Okay, well, I'm really sorry about that. Maybe it never even happened. Maybe I just imagined it all. Yeah. All right. I'll check it out and let you know. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Well, he was a nice guy. Very friendly. Roy, this is Trooper Thomas with the Florida Highway Patrol. Oh, God. I received a note on my windshield (laughs) saying that you deemed my patrol car. Please give me a phone call back at Area Coast. Uh, I looked around the vehicle. I didn't see any bumps, dents, or scratches or anything wrong with the patrol car. It's a fairly new car, but uh, because it is a government vehicle, I would just like to make contact and make sure. Other than that, you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. What, what should I do? I don't know. Should I say I hotboxed in the police car? <laughs> or I installed Sirius Satellite Radio? What should I do? Maybe I should do the telemarketing thing on him. Trooper Thomas. Oh, hey, Thomas. This is Roy. I left a note on your uh, car about the carding. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Um... I looked into it. I know it's just a joke, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> okay. Have a good one. Thanks for having a sense of humor. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> okay. You're, you're, you're welcome, Brad. All right. Bye. Oh, shit. He called me Brad. Damn it. I, that one came in four days ago. If I would have gotten to that one quicker, that could have been, uh, I don't know, a felony or something, depending on what I said to him. Damn it, damn it. Oh, well. I've actually gotten several calls from a few police departments around the country where uh, carding victims have reported things. Uh, One of them said it was a hit and run, which, you know, that's stupid. It's not a hit and run. I left a note. That's not a hit and run. Uh, Like, here's one. Here's one right here that I haven't deleted yet. Hi, Roy. This is Officer Romanowski with the Birmingham Police Department calling. Uh, Calling in regards to the... um the ding that was on car. Um, we have a female who uh, just called us out here. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to delete that one. And I've tried to call most of these officers back just to let them know that it's a joke and that the people are probably just trying to do an insurance scam. But it's really hard to get a hold of officers at their work. <laughs> Except for that one I just talked to, anyway. But I've had zero luck in getting a hold of any other police officers to let them know that it's just a harmless prank. There was no car ding. The people are just being drama queens, that's all. Trying to scam the insurance companies. I think right now would be a good time to sort of take a break and listen to some voicemails from you people. I am starting to get kind of behind on the voicemails again. So, here's some voicemails. 
Brad. I'm currently listening to the voicemail show or the 50 minutes of voicemails. You may be able to hear your own voice talking in the background right now. Why don't you pause it or something? Jeez. I hate literally every minute of it. I just Thanks. feel like I need to finish the show, so I'm, I'm refusing to switch to the next show. I'm just listening to the stupid voicemail show, and I am now contributing to a massive voicemail by leaving you this voicemail. Thanks. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, because this is the worst listening to all these voicemails. All right, thanks. Thanks for that. Bye. Hey, Brad. I just want to know, like, some friendly advice. I was playing a video game the other day. I live in a two-story building, so I really had to take a fucking leak. And... I fucking like pissed in my Gatorade cup or like Gatorade bottle and then like the match was getting fucking intense man and I got thirsty since my palms were all sweaty and shit and okay tr- that's enough of this voicemail bye okay I'll, we'll listen there and I drank out of there <sighs> fuck man drank your own pee Did that ever happen to you yeah and please let me know all the time Thanks. Bye-bye. You know, Mr. Spessa, he was in the middle of a really epic prank call a while back. And he really, really had to pee, but it was a really long prank call. So he just took a bottle or something and peed into it under his desk while he was on the phone with someone. That's dedication. I don't think he drank it, though. I definitely don't have any any effing awesome things to say. But anyway, I was going to mention about the 21st phone uh, anniversary. Is it it no 21 years since? PLA was founded. Yep. See, you'll need to, you'll need to do something special for that one. This November. I, okay. And and I wonder, are they allowed to send mass um, calls and mass confusion ideas? I don't have any ideas at the moment, but encourage others to send in their ideas. Bye bye. Yeah, send in your ideas to me. I guess rbcpfonelosers.org if you have any ideas for us for calls of mass confusion. I don't know if we have an official Calls of Mass Confusion email set up yet, but no, I should have done an anniversary for 20 years of PLA. This November is 21 years of PLA, so I think I missed it. I I, I missed the opportunity to do a 20-year anniversary something. I could have made the coin. The the coin could have been a 20-year anniversary coin, but no, I'm stupid. I made it a 2014 coin. Really boring of me. Hey, Brad. I was just wondering how many toddlers do you think you could beat up actually knock out before you got tired and they oh, overwhelmed you i know this from experience you know i'm thinking of maybe 20 25 if you're lucky i don't know how good your fists are anyway just wondering Tex- my, my right one's really strong for some reason this is texas yeah my lawyer says i can't really talk about that publicly so i shouldn't have even played that voicemail roy it is your wonderful fan from california yeah. and uh i was wondering do you want me to write you like one of those fantastic rap songs you know It'll be, like, completely wonderful. Okay. But, yeah, no. Do it. Um, Go ahead and, like, you know, play this voicemail on the show. And uh, go ahead and give me your opinion. But, yeah, it'll be an amazing song. Why do you need my opinion? Just do it. It'll be about Prank Call Nation. You know, still follow the show. Everything's great. All right, Roy, can I this? Like, I'm going to say no to that. Hey, Brad, it's Steven Yucca. Just Steve. letting you know that I was listening to your Snowplow show on the way home. And uh, I just want to thank you for still doing these prank calls because, you know, they they brighten up my day and, and make everyone else's worse. Make me feel happy when, like, today was shit. So thanks Aww. for sticking with these prank calls. They are really fucking hilarious, mate. That, like, whenever you up- upload a new one, they always make me, like, Have a laugh bar. and shit. Anyways, keep doing them because your show's awesome. And uh, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I'm glad you enjoy humor at the expense of other people. Is that enough voicemails? I think that's enough voicemails. I'm going to do a few more carding calls. I could do something else to mix it up a little bit, but that's way too much work for me, so I'm just going to do some more carding calls. Hey, Roy, how you doing? I'm Zach. Uh, Zach Guys, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, talk about insurance. Uh, just give me a call back. I appreciate the note. Um, that was very nice of you. A lot of people don't do that. I'm a nice guy. Um, I didn't honestly even see the ding until this morning, so I don't know if it was this morning or not. But uh, call him back. Give me a call back about insurance. We'll talk about it. Thanks. Bye. Hello. Hello, Zach. Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yeah. What's up? 
Oh, nothing much. That's uh, not, that's so where did you ding my car at? Um, well, I don't know if you'd call it a ding. I was I was in the back seat of it, and I was smoking, and I dropped some ash on the floor, and I stomped it out really quick. But there's like a black mark in the carpet. But I, I don't in my think. Car? Yeah, I don't think it burned the carpet because I stomped it out really fast. Do you know what kind of car I drive? Oh, I can't remember. I was really high. I just, I, I got out and I left the note because I felt bad about dropping ash on the carpet in the back seat. When did you smoke in my car? Uh, it was like five days ago. Do I know you personally? Oh, no, no. I was just kind of, I don't know. I just kind of passed him by and the car was unlocked. So I got in and smoked in the back seat. Smoked marijuana. So you got in the back of my car. I don't even know you. Do you realize that's not okay? Well, I, I don't want to get... I don't know what the laws are like in Ohio. I don't know if you can get arrested the for... The law is that's trespassing, my dude. Well, no, I don't care about that law. I just don't want to get in trouble for marijuana. So I just get in people's cars and smoke. Well, yeah, the law is you cannot smoke marijuana in Ohio. I know. That's why I don't want to do it out in public. I don't want to get arrested. I understand that, but, dude, you do it in someone's car that you don't even know? Well, I don't own a car, so I don't see what the uh, other so you option is. So you just go to random people's cars and smoke in them. It, well, it's, u- it's usually not a problem because they, they don't notice, and I don't usually drop ashes on the floor. But when I do, I leave a note because that's the right thing to do. Okay. That's breaking and entering one. No, Two, it was unlocked. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't get in someone's car if they don't know you. Well, it's not breaking and entering, and I, just, I didn't see a no trespassing sign, so I can just get in. No, you can't. Well, I did. You, and can't, I, just get in, you can't just get into someone's random car, dude. You'd never hot boxed in a car before? No, I have, but not in someone's car I don't know. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. I didn't, st- fuck. I didn't steal that, anything. That is a big deal to me. You could have stole something from me. You could have done anything. Oh, I could have, but I didn't because I'm not that kind of person. I don't steal things. I don't know you. I don't know that you couldn't do that. Well, maybe you should leave your... Give me one good reason why I should not just report you to the police right now. Well, maybe you should lock your doors. Maybe you should shut the fuck up and stay out of people's cars. Well, if they leave the car unlocked, that's that's an invitation to come in. All right, we'll see about that. We will, won't we? Yeah, we will, fuckhead. All right. Let's see which... (laughs) I just got called a fuckhead. I think he won that battle. So I've called all the recent ones. I'm really getting kind of far back now. I'm getting back to the ones that I've tried to call before, but there were no answers. I need to go back and call these from local numbers to these people. So maybe they'll pick up. I think some of them aren't picking up because I'm calling from a Washington number. Jeez, here's one from eight days ago. Okay, I'm going to go all the way to the very end. I'm going to start calling from eight days ago. Work my way forward. Hi, this is uh, concerning the car you deemed that you left a note on. Uh, Give me a call, 419. Thank you. By the way, the smoking in the car idea is from Boggy B. Uh, He suggested having a cigarette smoke, but I decided uh, marijuana was more scandalous to these people. Hello? Hello, this is Roy. I left a note on your car last week. Yes. And I'm just returning your call. You already returned my call. Oh, did I? I forget. Sorry. I'm really intoxicated right now. You told me that you pinged my car even though you wrote that you dinged my car. Oh, that's right. I was pinging your car. I remember that now. Okay. Well, uh, once again, I'm sorry I pinged your car. Well, Ford says there's no way you can ping my car. Oh, they're full of crap. They don't. They don't want to admit it that your car can be hacked. But you look it up on the internet. You uh, can. You can hack those Fords really easy. How can you hack a car that doesn't have Wi-Fi? It doesn't need Wi-Fi. You've got the keyless entry, right? Nope. Well, you've got the. Okay, fine. You win. Bye. Oops. You know, some of these people, they leave two messages. You know, when when I don't answer, when I don't return their call immediately, they'll leave another message the next day. So maybe that was a repeat message, or maybe I just forgot to delete the message after I called her. 
I sure feel dumb now for calling back the same person twice. Here's one from British Columbia. I have about three or four British Columbians all in a row here that I've not called yet. Hi, Rory. Um, my name is Jessica. I just uh, saw a note that you left on my boyfriend's car, and um, I just was hoping maybe you give me a call back when you can. Um, you can call me at 604. Thanks so much for the honesty, too. Okay. Hello? Hi, Jessica. Hi. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good. Good. So I'm, I was just, uh, thank you so much for leaving the note. You're welcome. First of all, um, I'm just wondering, where did you actually hit it? Well, I didn't hit it. Um, I was trying to attach a chain to the back bumper, to the back of the axle, and, um, you know, pull it down the street. And the chain just kind of scraped the bottom of the bumper a little bit. Oh, okay. So underneath. Yeah. Okay. I am, it's not my car, it's uh, my boyfriend's car, but I will just, I'll just get him to take a look, but I don't think that the damage is too bad that we can see, so. Yeah, it's mostly on the bottom, because I was just trying to tow, I was just trying to um, pull his car down the street. With, his car? Yeah, with the big chain. I was just, I hooked it up to his car, but I, I drive a, a little car, and it, it wasn't strong enough to pull his, because it was in park. Wait, what do you mean you're trying to pull his car down the street? You know, I just I hooked up a chain to the axle and I was going to pull it. Why? I don't know. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? I mean, it's that's it's none of your business. It's not even your car. Yeah, so. but that's kind of weird. Um yeah, well, you know, whatever. What do you like? What do you mean? I don't understand. What? Why would you do that? It, it's just it's my business. It just don't. But worry. it's his car. I know, but it's not your car, so don't worry about it. I was just trying to pull. Okay, can I can I can I get him to give you a call back? I guess sure. I was just trying okay. to. I was just trying to pull his car down the street. That's all. Okay, I'm gonna get him to call you back. Okay. Okay. Why couldn't he just call me back in the first place? Um, I don't know, but Cause, I'll cause I'll give him a call. Okay. Really? Come on, women don't know anything about cars anyway. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. What's his name? Bye. <laughs> All right. I've officially weirded out that person. That was inspired by an idea that Boggy B gave me, but it wasn't exactly an idea of his. I forget what he said. But I think I'm just going to start hooking up chains to people's cars and moving them. Hi there. Um, I found a note on my car, and I'm just uh, calling you back. So um, if you can give me a call at your convenience, my number is 604. Thanks. Bye. Hello? Hi, it's Roy. I left a note on your car last week. Oh, yes, Roy. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Um, where did you, where did you hit the car? Well, I didn't hit it exactly. I, I hooked up a chain to the axle because I was trying to pull it with my car. And oh, the, why would... the chain kind of, it, it went, it kind of hit the bottom of the bumper as I was pulling it. Oh, okay. So you, you were, you weren't trying to pull my car, right? No, I was, but it didn't work because I drive one of those little smart cars, just a two seater. And it just, it wasn't strong enough to pull your car because it was in park. Okay, why did you want to pull my car? I don't know. Just, you know, no reason. You wanted to hook up a chain and, and pull my car for some reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't, for something it, to do. it wouldn't work because I, I drive a really small car, so it, your car was stronger than mine. Um, I guess you're not a local person, hey. Well, uh, I th- no, well, no, not really. I'm from Washington. Oh, you're from Washington. Okay. Yep. So the only thing I'm trying to, I'm still trying to get my head around this is that why, why did you want to hook up a chain to my car and pull it just for something to do? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about it. I was just, just wanted to pull it. You just wanted to pull the car? Yeah, I wanted to pull okay. it down the street. You wanted to pull the car down the street? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this something that you do like on a regular basis? Or oh no, no, not usually. No, just just yours. 
just mine. Yeah, well, I just got the chain. I, I was really itching to test it out. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I I think the car is actually okay. Oh, okay. So That's I don't good. think we. Yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Okay. All right. But well, yeah, it's just it's up underneath on the bottom of the bumper. You can't really see it. But if if it's a problem, just let me know, and I'll give you my insurance information. Okay, and you know what? Maybe that's not a really good thing to do in the future. Oh, I don't know. Like pull people's pull people's cars with well, a, with a chain. I think I should pull smaller cars because my car is pretty small and it 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 doesn't ha- it only has so much power to pull cars. Okay. Yeah, I, I hear you. So you know what? Maybe I should get your address and uh, just for information purposes. Oh no, okay? you don't need that. Nah, you don't need it. I don't need your address. Nah. Are, you, are you coming back up this way anytime soon, or? Well, yeah, I live. I'm kind of living in the area right now. You're living in the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for work. Oh, okay, all right. Well, just do me a favor, okay? And yeah, don't don't pull my car. Well, I, I won't because I I can't. I would, but I can't. Oh, you know, okay. my car's too small. Okay. It's yeah, a, that's just not a it's not a cool thing to do. It's a smart car. Okay. So yeah, you both. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. Have a good Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Kisses. That was another British Columbia one. If you couldn't tell, here's one from my favorite state, New Mexico. Hi, Roy. Uh, my name is Monica Denton, and you left a note on my car to get. Her name is Monica Denton. Get it, Denton? You're like I dented her car. you said you you dinged my car or or you might say i dented it so you can call me back anytime 575 thanks bye all right let's call mrs denton hello hi monica yes hey it's roy i left a note on your car last week oh yes hi how are you oh pretty good you yeah, know, I you left me a note, but I didn't see any evidence of a ding. Oh, yeah, it's kind of on the underside of the bumper in the back. Well, those things happen. It's yeah. an older car. Well, I, ha- I didn't see anything that would be threatening or that would, you know, yeah, destroy yeah. the integrity of the car. So I, I appreciate that, but I thought maybe somebody else picked up the note from another car and put it on mine. So oh, I just, no. No, it was yours. I was hooking up a chain to the axle underneath the car, and I hooked it up to uh-huh. my my car, and I was trying to pull your car with my car. You what? I was... I hooked up a chain to the axle, and the bottom of the chain, it kind of scraped along the bottom of your bumper when I was trying to pull your car. Why were you trying to pull my car? I don't know. That's very strange. Not really. I mean, you know, what else is there to do in this town? <laughs> okay. Um, well, we do have cameras there, and I have security there. So we'll be looking out for that. Okay. Well, I won't um, do it again. I don't, recommend you, I don't recommend you doing it again. Well, I my won't. Car, my car could because barely. that's against the law. Oh, I don't think it is, but no, my car could barely oh, even yes, pull. It is hey, shut the up! Law. Shut up! No, my car could barely even pull yours because it's a really small car. So I need to just. Oh, she <laughs> she doesn't like being told to shut up. I've now called officially everyone on this list at least once, so I'm out of numbers to call. So that's my excuse for ending the show right now. I tried to do this show live, but fucking Mixler. They I upgraded to the new Mixler and it broke. Mixler no longer works, so now I have to figure out how to fix Mixler. I think this is the second time this has happened to me with Mixler. So it's all Mixler's fault. I didn't do a live show today. Blame Mixler, not me. Remember, you have two weeks left to leave notes on cars if you want to hear more of these. So keep leaving the notes, and I will keep calling everyone that calls into the voicemail. Thank you, everyone who has left a note so far. Thanks for risking your freedom and health and all that. You know, (laughs) I'm glad nobody's gotten beaten up, or at least nobody's told me they've gotten beaten up or arrested for leaving notes. Please be very careful when you leave notes. I will not pay for your bail if you end up in jail for leaving notes on cars. I won't pay for your hospital bills when you get your ass kicked. You have to do this at your own risk. Follow Phone Losers on Facebook.com slash Phone Losers, Twitter.com slash Phone Losers, YouTube.com slash Phone Losers of America, 
and support the show at phonelosers.com slash cactus. Today's show was sponsored by Jeremy A. Thanks, Jeremy, for the Patreon support. Today's show was produced by Ben Kilburn, Michael Foster, and Devin Gladden. That's how big of a job this show was today. We had to have three producers. The show was edited by Mr. Fraser and Randall Thor. And catering for the entire crew was provided by Neon Like Bjork, who runs 976neon.com. There, I got rid of half of the December 2014 sponsors. Thanks for listening, everyone. I will see you next time, which will be sometime this week, I'm sure, hopefully, unless I get arrested or end up in the hospital. And on that note, here's a song. Enjoy it. No, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles. No, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go cups out the window because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm gonna give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. No, I don't drink coffee, I don't even have a cup I drink bottled water so you need to back your facts up I'm a diabetic, need to watch my sugar count Coffee's not a beverage I drink when I'm driving about I never drop litter in my whole damn life If you see me sat in Starbucks, I'm just here to use the Wi-Fi I didn't see no secret camera hidden in the cacti Andy Anderson is gonna fuck you up, wise guy I don't drink coffee, it's not my drink of choice I order spring water when I'm drinking with the boys Caffeine is mean to me, there's nothing to enjoy Say your name again? Void? I'm recording this call on my answering machine I assure you that it's working though you didn't hear a beep I'm gonna take this tape and fucking march it down the street Knock on Andy's door and get a hell by the chief of Phoenix, please No, I don't go to the go-cup place And I don't go out to the car And I don't throw the go-cup out the window Because I don't have any You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic and I drink water I don't have a cup Bottled water is what I do. You can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? No, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh, shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm going to give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. I bet, you're the, I bet you're the most annoying neighbor ever, like every little thing that happens to you. I'm going to get the deputy. He lives next door to me. We're good friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't go to the well, that hurts. diabetic and I drink water. Yeah. We've got our cacti is on you. That's our new slogan. Why did you want to hook up a chain to my car and pull it? Um, um.